of parents are keeping a close eye on enterovirus. Dozens of children across the country are being treated for the respiratory illness. The symptoms start out like the common cold, but they can worsen quickly. We are privileged to have with us Dr. Randall Fisher, a pediatric infectious disease expert at CHKD. Thank you for joining us. A lot of folks have their eye on this. Uh, we know we have some uh, suspected cases in Richmond and Central Virginia. First of all, let's talk about the symptoms. You know, there are a lot of people who have had this summer cold. So some parents want to know, how do you differentiate between just the common cold and enterovirus? Well, it, it's very difficult because the enterovirus is very closely related to the rhinovirus that causes common cold. So it can start as looking like a common cold, but in the cases where the kids are getting sicker, they're developing difficulty breathing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them have uh, wheezing. And especially kids who have pre-existing asthma, when they get this virus, they tend to have difficulty breathing and wheezing, and that's the main thing that differentiates it. One parent posted on Facebook, she wanted to know, she says her daughter has bad asthma that flares up during the cold months, so she wants to know how is this going to affect her and what can she do? Well, if she uh, contracts the virus, she may have a wheezing exacerbation that might look very much like any other wheezing exacerbation that she has because these kids with this virus don't always get fever either. Mm. So if she does have a wheezing exacerbation, she should take her to get uh, medical care. Would you say kids are more prone to this now because school has started and they're all close together and touching things? Yes. I mean, it's not that they're more prone to it, but it's they're, they're more likely to spread it, so it spreads more readily when they're in groups like that. So how can we prevent the spread of this? Well, the main thing is to good hand hygiene. And the other thing that people talk, I mean, people talk about washing the hands a lot, but they don't talk much about keeping the hands away from the face. Because mm. you, you get the virus principally by putting it in your own eyes, mouth, or nose with your hands. So if you keep your hands clean when you can, and when they're not clean, keep them away from your hands and face. Uh, those are the main things. And staying away from people who are acutely ill. Yeah, what do you do? I mean, if you suspect your child has this, we see, we see this video here. They have the mask on their face, and, and we know that this is really bad for folks who have asthma. So what would you say uh, if the child is displaying some symptoms? When do you take them to the doctor? When do you take them to the uh, ER? Yeah, um, it's a good question. I think I would take them when they begin to have difficulty breathing. Again, if the parent has an asthmatic child, they're used to seeing those symptoms. They'll recognize when they have problems breathing. That's when they should go get care. Let's talk about flu. I'm seeing commercials. I'm seeing signs where people are saying, get your flu shot now. It's September. What is going on? Well, um, flu shot's available, and uh, the, the, it's sort of a wives' tale that you can't get your flu shot till later in, uh, in the season. Uh -huh. So it's just that we want to vaccinate a lot larger group of people. And so if we start earlier, we'll be more successful at getting everybody vaccinated. So uh, if it, you have the time and the shot's available, it's just as good to get it now as it is to get it in October Are or we November. seeing cases already? No, not at all. It's in anticipation of the upcoming flu season. And there's no vaccination for... The enterovirus. enterovirus? No, there is not. Wow. Okay, so people just have to really think about hygiene and just take care of themselves and look after the children, especially the ones with asthma. That's correct. All right, doctor, thank you so much. Randall Fisher from thank CHKD you. for joining us here.